Hi dear friends, this is MD Alias God. Welcome to new another part of the video of Planner Automation Limited. Today I want to discuss about the topics of uh, reverse and forward with Star Delta controlling system and practical implementations. The very useful function, this is very useful operations in any kinds of industry. We are practically viewing it same. Reverse and forward with Star Delta. Reverse and forward. Two types of operations in a single field came. So friends, this is very important in any kind of industry when you are operate of or any kinds of induction model. The times is very necessary of our any kinds of industry. So start to end, please watching this video. I hope you guys get some knowledge about these topics in here. So friends, uh, first I described uh, in this method, okay, connection diagram, uh, what is, is the controlling circuit and what is the power diagrams, step by steps and how much devices uses of this uh, project game. So useful devices for this project. First is MCCB controlling or project of any kinds of um, three phase line. Okay, the times uh, this MCCB uses for the any kinds of uh, three phase uh, protecting devices is like as that. Second is a circuit breaker for a single phase. So first the third is overload relay. This is the two phases for much more safety for of your any kinds of uh, unexpected overload. Okay, so friends four is magnetic conductor magnetic conductor four phases okay two phases for reverse and forward and two phases for the start and delta five is a um, push button choice this is also important for you start the of your operations and stop of your operations the start of your reverse and start of your the delta okay it's a delta any kinds of operations we are need the push button choice the times indicator indicator of your power uh, reverse forward start delta whole processing is indicated by this uh, indicator okay the so next is a um, tough auxiliary to the single piece okay tough auxiliary is a very important device when you are using nonc as a much more the times here this tough auxiliary is a very important okay. next is um, relay and timer this is the users for the helping devices of any kinds of magnetic conductor or a uh, three phase load a uh, time delay or latching the times uh, it's a uh, relay and timer is a uh, more useful device in any kinds of controlling system okay friends next is three phase motor in here this is mccb to each circuit breaker for single phase chip okay and three is overload relay two phases magnetic conductor four phases push button two is uh, three phases indicator four phases uh, and also a tough auxiliary is uh, um, auxiliary is a uh, single piece uh, relay and timer is a single piece and three phase motor uh, which uh, devices we are uses uh, for the controlling of this system so friends um, this is our main load this is our main load uh, we are uh, uses all functions for this uh, three phase load this is the main topic this is a controlling circuit of uh, forward reverse and standard this is the your, our single phase connections so friends, this is a method, um, many more methods we are uses of our practical field and this is the simple uh, one method. Um, this is the your line, okay, uh, this is uh, integrated the rate, which is uh, integrated the phase, okay. So friends, this is the use of the CB and uh, is the, your overload connections and this is the, your NC connections, okay. This is the, your anode connections, okay. So friends, this is the, your latching point for anode, okay. Um, so friends, this is the NC and this is the magnetic conductor, which is neutral okay now we are integrated to the name in here this is the circuit breaker overload relay and see and this is the emergency stop button okay and this is the start for forward start button and the times is uh, called to the latching point for the and the time when you are uh, uses the our push button the times is connected in here and is uh, connected to our forward so friends when we are supply of our these uh, connections is the breaker is on and our load is, is and the and see that means when we are um, close up our start button so the times is connected in with the with the this latching point and it's directly connected to this our load this is a forward load and it's a uh, and see for reverse for interlocking systems again okay. all reverse forward and start delta which is must be neat um, uh, interlocking system okay so friends this is also anode which is a, this is r anode that means reverse anode okay this so which is color color is integrated to this forward in here it is a reverse reverse is interlocking system series 
interlocking system is must be needed in uh, high end we are uses that for what no man not for, so friends this is the must be important your interlocking systems interlocking system is uh, safe of your motors or safe of your load okay, any kinds of uh, uninteractable signal okay so friends um, you uh, guys understand what is, is this is a start uh, push button is uh, number one and number two and number three came okay. push button in here is this is a start uh, start forward and this is a start reverse when we are start the upper forward um, the times uh, it's forward is running here and uh, imagine this stop button which is a stop of our operations immediately any any time any higher okay friends this is the forward connection and this is the reverse connection i hope you guys understand this is a circuit breaker this is the circuit breaker is uh, connected in one and two one is uh, directly um, connected to this uh, um, line and two is uh, our output and which is connected to the 95 of uh, our load pin and uh, 96 uh, you know, which is uh, out and it's going to this uh, emergency stop button and this is the your our start uh, uh, start forward uh, which is connected to the ano conditions uh, and which is latching for the push button choice uh, okay, all time on that's why okay friends when we are uh, start the um, forward the times our motor will be run in forward okay and when we stop our forward then we are um, going to this reverse and uh, when we are start uh, we want to start the reverse condition the times we are push of this reverse that is three number and choice you see in here this is the main topics in your world. this uh, forward reverse uh, star and delta okay when you are uh, forward run the times is forward is run and uh, when it stops uh, uh, the times forward is stop and uh, when you are reverse run the times it reverses is run and when you are stop the emergency button the times reverses uh, uh, reverses or uh, stop when we are a uh, forward run with the star and delta the times uh, it's a um, whole processing is work the, uh, after uh, step by steps and we have built in, in here this is the really easy uh, use which is uh, connected to the reverse anno okay so friends this is the reverse anno uh, when reverse is on the times really is on otherwise not okay and uh, reverse is on the times is uh, timer is connected uh, normally okay uh, which is connected to the forward and really you know is connected in here so when really is connected the times your uh, immediately your start is on the times your motor uh, reverse with star star is on okay and after five seconds your start is uh, after 10 seconds or 20 seconds this is demand of your factory the times is off of your uh, this star and then uh, run of your delta so friends this is the step-by-step -step processing system of our star delta configuration so i hope you guys understand and uh, this is the uh, forward uh, which is um, when your push button switch the times is connected in here and really is on and uh, when really is on the times your connected of our forward the times really is not connected of these positions in here and uh, is directly connected to this timer and timer is maintained to the star and delta the times when initially start the star uh, and then when after 20 seconds or 15 seconds uh, the times the star is off and after uh, and delta is run okay this is step by step processing um, we are maintain of our for a report with star delta controlling system okay so friends i hope you guys understand what is the controlling system and what is the controlling circuit and what is the processing of this circuit okay what is going on in the circuit and this is a practically i will show in front of you in next video tutorial okay so friends this is our controlling circuit and, and uh, this is the mccb okay uh, which is a uh, uh, control of our three phase systems and this is the magnetic contactor and um, mcb1 through the motor forward one okay, uh, uh, that means uh, this is the also main magnetic contactor also and this is the, our our load relay uh, which is connected to the m1 um, okay and this is the, our uh, number two who is run motor uh, to the reverse directions so first is a three number for mcb which is uh, control of our delta connections okay delta connections okay so friends uh, is, is our load relay and is mcb for motor star run okay that's for the our star run okay this is the mcb number four okay so friends uh, uh, if you guys understand how in we are mcb one active that reference uh, we are first time uh, start the run and 
then converted our power to the delta. Okay, so friends, this is the whole system we have used of our these three phase induction motor, star delta and reverse forward. Power block diagram of uh, forward reverse or star delta. Step by step, the power diagrams we are see sometimes before we are see on the, our single phase uh, conditional systems. Uh, and now we have see about the power block diagram of that means um, connect of our devices in three phase conditions again. Okay. So friends, let's go. Earth first is earth, that means a very important. Uh, earth is a need for every devices uh, for the transfer of our any kind of leakage current. And L1, L2, L3, which is uh, step by step connected, uh, which is our main three phase line. Uh, this is the our NCCB molded case circuit breaker, um, and which is connected to this magnetic contactor step by steps. And this is the overload. This is the overload which is protected of a load from any kinds of um, uh, unexpected load. Next is the second number magnetic conductor which is uh, our motor is uh, connected to the for the reverse connections. Okay. So friends, this is the for, uh, forward and this is the reverse. And these references we are control of our motor as a uh, star and delta. And it's also uh, we are uh, reverses. Uh, we are also connected of our motor as a star and delta which is um, the two methods uh, specifically we are step by step of our uh, controlling of our motor so uh, this is our three number the magnetic conductor uh, which is connected to uh, delta and uh, this is the overload relay next is the two types of overload the need this is the main magnetic conductor for forward and this is the delta delta is the must be needed the overload because uh, we are continuing of our operations uh, in in this uh, magnetic conduct very much need so friends uh, this is the start connections uh, magnetic conductor this is a terminal of uh, three phase motor, motor uh, which is named as uh, this is the u1 v1 and this is the w1 one product inside okay and this is a load side okay and v2 e, uh, w2 and u2 um, as a uh, delta connections okay okay this part is a delta only okay so friends uh, i hope you guys understand step by step this uh, terminal is very important it's the u1 v1 w1 input is the same and output is delta controlling system okay? we are connected now the our three phase CB and then we are uh, connected of our three phase line in MCCB1 for forward okay? and which is a uh, route of our overload relay one which is connected of our main magnetic conductor or forward uh, which is output is connected directly in these U1, V1 and W1. When we are supplied and activated at the times this magnetic conductor is activated and forward is run of our motor. Okay, so friends, now we are short of our reverse magnetic conductor, which is directly input of uh, output of MCCB line three phase connected is directly connected of uh, this point. Okay, and uh, which is um, bars. Okay, so one phase is changed. Okay, the times radically uh, changed of two two phases. Converted of our power to the reverse at the time that so this magnetic conductor is a command to our terminal of a motor a reverse connection so reverse direction anticlockwise at the times so our motor run as a anticlockwise so friends this is our forward connections which is a output is a directly connected of terminal and this is our reverse which is input is similar and output is a changes of any kinds of phase so that times so we are got here of our main result of a uh, motor okay so friends i hope you guys understand what is the forward and what is the reverse connection so this is a very simple connection so uh, now we want to show about the topics of um, star and delta how to connect it of our devices in here it's a very very important okay so friends uh, i was connected in here delta connection so delta is the very important connection so uh, sincerely we are connected of our output of delta from the magnetic conductor v2 w2 u2 uh, connected each and other this is the delta connections u1 going to the v2 v1 going to the w2 w1 going to the u2 which is step by steps connections in here so friends this is the main theme uh, which is changing you are seeing here this is the red cable but uh, its opposite connections is uh, yellow and this is the yellow which opposite connection is the blue and this is the blue which opposite connection is the red this is the 
changing of 120 degree at like as test that's why we have got of our delta connection is a much more speed much more efficiency when we are connected of our load as a delta so friends firstly it's a very risky when we are connected of our delta this is a very risky for our load for our machine it's a very big fault to come into our that times uh, that's why we are our run of our motor first times in a star so we are going to this point for the star connections m4 m4 is the star which is uh, now we want to connect it of our devices in here so friends you see in here this um, star connections is very easy of a delta which is connected in this uh, three phase load and opposite uh, function is short that's why run of our uh, supply of our um, three phase connections the times is short is connected directly in short because this short from the terminals is the transfer of this uh, point in here and initially we are start of um, uh, start of our motor as a star okay this is the big facility and uh, this uh, facility we are going to offer uh, motor step by step increase uh, that um, speed uh, that's why we are got a good efficiency and while we uh, approach of our maximum speed the times from the power transfer to the delta so delta is operational point and uh, uh, this is the safe point or the um, star is our safe point for our so friends i hope you guys understand this is the step by step processing system or three phase connection or power diagram of a star delta and reverse forward system we have a good connection system for our industry so friends um, i hope you guys understand clearly which is the power block diagram of a three phase star delta and reverse forward controlling system uh, in our practical implementation of any kinds of factory okay friends um, was described the single phase connections and now i uh, described about the power dear power. viewers if you like video of planet automation limited please subscribe the channel and then click the bell icon this process will never miss another new update if you want to learn about motor controlling basic to advanced level all kinds of industrial controlling system this platform only for you okay so friends please contact with us IO tutorial we want to show about the practical implementations of our um, for these topics of uh, for reverse and star delta practical implementations of our next video tutorial so your friends don't miss of uh, the next video tutorial for the practical view of uh, this diagram no more today so wait for the next video tutorial till then allah